friends welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to ask a question first before i say any introduction are you aware that five communities out of the 11 communities chosen for the rural and northern immigration pilot might be kicking off this november i use the word might there because anything could change today is 31st of october so i am using the word might so that you can take advantage of being an early bird and check on their websites if they have actually started. So now these five communities are Sudbury and have done a video on Sudbury. The second is Brandon in Manitoba. The third is Salt de Marie in Ontario. The fourth is Altona, Rhineland, Plum Coulee in Manitoba. And the fifth is Thunder Bay in Ontario. So these five communities indicated interest that they will be kicking off the rural and northern immigration pilot November 1st while the six other communities um some indicated january and some others also indicated april so the advantage of being an early bird is you are aware of this information and you take advantage of it and because it's a community driven pilot it means the community themselves will be choosing the people who will come to their community to stay and um, grow the economy and the population of the community so it's not just you throwing random random resumes you know hoping for an employer to employ you there is an approach where the employer will employ you but it's the community that decides if you are a good candidate and a good fit for their community so i'll be showing you the requirements for salt stemari because today's focus is on salt stemari i hope to create a video for branding and um thunder bay and altona plum coulee rhineland those are the three that are astounding i've already created one for surgery you can watch the one for surgery i hope to create the videos for the other so that you can take advantage of them The Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot is a community-driven pilot which seeks to identify job opportunities in the local economy and work to match applicants to a job. And the community will be assessing prospective candidates who best fit the economic needs of the community, have a genuine employment opportunity, and have the intention of staying in the community. The work experience requires that you have at least one year of continuous work experience within one year in the past three years. And you'll also take note of what has been highlighted. Volunteering or unpaid internships don't count as work experience. Self-employment does not count as work experience. The educational requirement is for you to have at least a high school certificate or a secondary school certificate and it must be evaluated by either WES, ICAS, ICES, or the others. You must evaluate your credential, no matter what um, credential you have. If it's a high school or a university degree, you just have to evaluate your credential for you to qualify for this pilot. The language requirements must match the job offer. So you have to pay attention to the knock category and the job offer if your knock is a knock zero that's the national occupational classification is a zero it means your ielts score has to be a clb6 so you have to write ielts for this um pilot to qualify then you also need proof of funds and the proof of funds is slightly higher than the AIPP, so the proof of funds for one person is $8,722. And then the proof of funds for six persons, that's a man, a wife, and four children, is about $20,731. You need to have the proof of funds in your account for you to be eligible for this pilot. The next requirement is to get a job offer. So you must have a genuine job offer, and that's what the communities want to do. They'll be matching applicants with a job offer and in this case you need to start searching for jobs in these communities so this is a list of the communities that are participating in this pilot i have already done a video 
on Sudbury. You can check the video out. This one is for Salt Stay Marie in Ontario. Please take note of the statement highlighted in red. For now, you can only research the communities and find out more about them. The pilot will be starting soon. So you just have to research and, you know, just stay updated. When communities are ready to begin recruiting and recommending candidates, more information will be available. So you have to keep watching on the websites that are slated for this pilot so that once they are ready to start recruiting, you'll be among the first set of people who will participate in this pilot. To get started, you come to the website welcome to ssm.com and then click on immigrate. When you click on immigrate, you scroll down straight to rural and northern immigration pilot. So this is where you get information about Salt Ste Marie being selected to participate in the rural and northern immigration pilot. And then here, please read here very carefully. It says due to the requirements of the rural and northern immigration pilot, we are not able to accept applicants until this fall. During the summer period, we are more than happy to answer any questions you may have about Salt Ste Marie and our employers. Should you have any questions about the city or the rural and northern immigration pilots, then you can reach them on this email here, laborforce at citiessm.on.ca. And then you can also upload your resume here. So when you click here, it takes you to where you're supposed to upload your resume. But now they are not accepting any resumes yet. So this is the special notice where they say they are not accepting any resume. So you just have to keep checking on this web page to ensure that once they open it, you can upload your resume so that they can match your resume with an employer in the community. You can also find information about the employers when you click on industries and employers. It will take you to um, this page where you find information about the industry that is available in Salt Ste. Marie and the steel manufacturing and fabrication industry is one of the biggest industries. Then they also have forestry and forest products and then lottery and gaming and smart energy, clean tech and renewable energy, digital economy, aviation, aerospace. So these are the industries that are available in Salt Ste. Marie. So if you know your occupation falls in any of these categories or in any of these industries, you can then draft your resume, the Canadian standard, and try as much as possible to check this web page so that you can upload your resume so that it can match you with an employer. The next information you should also look for is the career search information. When you click on career search, it will take you to the careers that are available that, that are currently advertised on their web page so these are the opportunities that are currently advertised on their web page so if you know you fall into any of this you can as well you know send in your application or upload your resume when they have indicated the opportunity for people to upload their resumes thank you so much for watching and please share this video inform your friends inform your loved ones and I also forgot to say thank you for subscribing from the very beginning of the video. So I'm going to say thank you for subscribing and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.